So this method's working really well. I drilled these two because I can't get to rib number four because of the uh, bell crank. So I drilled rib number five and rib number three. Dropped my center line across those two. I carried it all the way out just to see how it works. I think it's gonna be pretty much perfect. Uh, and then I drilled rib number four from this side because I couldn't come from the back side. Double check on the back side. It looks really, really well. Uh, it's pretty much perfect. And then from there, working my way out. I've got these first, I don't know, eight in here. I'm gonna pull these. I have the clamps are really loose on the ends just to allow the skin to kind of push out and then push up. So the tape moves a little bit. So it's just basically holding that tight seam again, working really well. I've got my center punch all the way through all of these holes between these two. And once I get those all drilled and clicked in place, I'll pull the Clecos, uh, actually I'll leave the Clecos, I'll drill rib number six and rib number two, um, and then I'll go back and I'll pull it off so I have those lines to verify that those are, are where they need to be, and then I'll go back and I'll double check and remark my lines. So on the drawings, it actually instructs from rib number two to rib number six, every uh, starting on rib number two, moving towards the outboard side of the, the wing from this hole on the rib, uh, inch and a half spacing for the rivets. That puts them exactly opposite of the rivets that are on the leading edge uh, skin. So it puts them dead center all the way through. So I'll go inch and a half from there and measuring from here. So inch and a half here, there's a little bit of a difference here, just a little bit shy of an inch and a half or a little bit heavy of an inch and a half. Uh, but that, that difference isn't huge. And so basically I start on each rib, go inch and a half, and then I'll go, I've already marked these just in case it's right, inch and a half all the way out to rib number six. So if that hole is right where it needs to be, I'll actually leave the skin up and go through and, and drill those as well. And then do the same here. I haven't marked these. Uh, I guess I messed up on that one. But um, anyways, so I'll drill through here. One of the things I'm going to do is now that I've got these in, I've got everything clamped and taped, I'm going to pull these uh, rivets that allow the skin to push in as I tighten it down with the rivets as I move out. So that's where I'm headed right now and uh, it's working really well. I'm actually pretty excited. It saved a lot of time drawing everything out on the front side and that's where we're at. So I'll get back to work. To help with efficiency, I'm doing working out. So one on each side, and then I put the rivets in, and then I'll do one on each side again. And that just prevents the number of times I'm lifting up and putting down the drill. So I've got a couple more holes to drill on each side. Um, I am not using any kind of a protectant on the drill. Uh, if I were gonna polish this aircraft and keep it a polished uh, aircraft, uh, I wouldn't, I would be a lot more careful with this. I would not be using a metal drill. I'd have a, a, a MAR protector on the drill bit. That way I wasn't leaving any scratches because I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm painting this aircraft. So um, ultimately, I'm not worried about any minor surface blemishes because I'm going to uh, end up sanding the whole wing and then painting it. So any small, tiny scratches from the drill bit aren't going to cause any issues. Some people might be wondering that, uh, but I have a paint scheme already kind of planned out for it. Uh, pays homage to my current uh, employment and uh, what I've spent 
20 and probably I'll hopefully spend about 28 years doing. So anyway, so I'm gonna paint it so I'm not worried about minor scratches on the surface because um, it's gonna be painted. Now the moment of truth, we'll see. There we go. So, all right. So that one worked. So as I worked my way out and pushed the skin down, that rib number three hole worked. So that skin was fairly tight all the way to rib number three, or yeah, no, rib number five. Sorry, rib number five. And then I worked my way down this way to rib number three. The problem with rib number three is it's just a little bit snug. That means the skin is pushed over just a little tiny bit, which is perfectly fine. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. And then that rivet goes, or that Clico goes in perfectly fine. So it's fractions, I mean, just tiny. That Clico would kind of go in but not all the way. So by taking that, by taking this Clico out, I allowed that skin to shift out a little bit, which allowed that skin to adjust. I'm using number 40s on these and the smaller Clicos so that when I come back and I'll do, I'll re-drill it all again uh, using these holes with um, a number 30 to put the actual rivet in there, the actual size that I need. And, but this just allows, there's a little bit of leeway to make up some of that adjustment so that offset a little bit will be taken up by the larger drill bit once I do the final drill. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to keep moving forward and uh, work my way from, I'll go to the back side and actually I'll record some of that. Switch over to the back side. I've drilled the front side through, rivets all look good. I'll show some pictures of that. They're exactly where I have them on my, the back side mark. I won't need to do those backside marks uh, on the bottom sides when I move to the bottom sides. And what I'll do is now I've got this pilot hole drilled on rib number six. So I'll drill it out from the back. I have taped it down nice and tight so the skin is flush tight against this, uh, the frame. And then once I drill that hole, I'll put a Clico in. I'll verify that that line is correct. And then I'll start drilling this one and I'll do the same on rib number three. This 45 air, air drill is perfect because it allows me to get the right angle uh, both vertically and horizontally to make sure I'm 90 degrees in, which will be helped with that pilot hole in the wrong angle. I'm gonna click on there and double check. I'm a little sad at the moment. I'm out of Clicos, so I have to pull the Clicos off of the left wing so that I have enough to put one in every hole to make sure the skin's nice and tight. Just makes me sad. I like looking over and seeing that thing look like that. So anyways, I'm gonna pull the uh, Clicos out of that one, put the skin on the, uh, the table and start finishing up on the right wing. Top skin's completed. So the left skin is done and the right skin is done. And now we're going to move on to the bottom skins. It's starting to look like wings. <laughs> 